Welcome to the Granny Square series. This week we're going to be making this cute square here. It's got popcorns and puff stitches in it. I'm going to pop it here next to these two flower patches on my moonstone blanket. So I'm going to be making the demo square in moonstone from the stone wash range and I'll be using a four millimeter hook. So to begin, I'm going to make a double magic circle using a four millimeter hook and chain one. So for round one, we're going to make four puff stitches. That's using um, three loops on each uh, puff stitch and we'll have a chain four space between each stitch. So to make the first puff stitch, we're gonna pull that chain up to the height of a US double UK treble. We'll yarn over, go into the magic circle, pull through. That's once. Yarn over, go in, pull through. That's twice. Yarn over, go in, pull through three times. And then we yarn over and pull through all those loops. Yeah, and then chain four. One, two, three and four and then we're going to repeat the same thing so we're going to make another puff stitch using three loops and then chain four and we'll make four all together so we're going to make three more and then we'll tighten the circle together so I'm going to whiz ahead you can press pause if you're making along So I'm just making my last stitch. Oops, let's pull that through. So I've got four stitches now, chain four, one, two, three, four, and we're gonna tighten the circle. So we're gonna pull the tail just a little bit to see which loop tightens first, and then we'll tighten that loop up all the way. Yeah, so there's no hole. And then we tighten the tail. We're then going to slip stitch into the top of the first stitch to finish the round and then chain, uh, not chain, slip stitch into the chain space. And that's how your work should look at the end of round one. So for round two, we're going to swap two popcorn stitches. So we're going to chain one, uh, two actually, yeah, we're going to chain two, and then we're going to make four US doubles, UK trebles. After you've made your four stitches, make a big loop, pull the hook out and go into the top of the first stitch. We're then going to take hold of the yarn and pull that through and we can then oops, pinch that tight. We're going to chain four. And we're going to make another popcorn stitch into that corner using four stitches again, US doubles, UK trebles. Same as before, we're gonna pull the loop. Let me just grab a bit more slack on my yarn. We then go into the first stitch, grab hold of the yarn and pull through, pinch tight. Yeah, we're then going to chain one and hop over to the next corner. So we're going to repeat, we're going to make a popcorn stitch, chain four, another popcorn stitch, chain one and then hop across 
to the next corner yeah so i'm gonna whiz along you can press pause if you're making a long and i'll see you at the end of the round so after your last stitch we chain one and then we're just gonna hop across so we're gonna slip stitch into the first popcorn stitch you made oops i've got there we go and then slip stitch into the corner and that's how it should look at the end of round two so for round three we're going to chain one and then we're going to chain two three and four yeah all together and we're going to make three us doubles uk trebles I'm going to chain one and then into that chain one space we made we're going to make a puff stitch a three loop puff stitch yeah so yarn over once and then we to pull up and three times so we're going to yarn over pull through all of those loops chain one and we're back to the corner so we're going to make three stitches US doubles, UK trebles, like a granny square. Chain one and three more stitches. After three stitches, chain one, and we're back to the chain one space. So we're going to make another puff stitch. So that's our repeat. Yeah, granny stitches in the corner with a chain one space and then chain one and puff stitches along the edge. And when we get back to the start, we can finish that corner off together. So you can press pause if you're making along with me. And I'm going to zoom ahead to the end of the round. So after your last puff stitch, chain one, and then we're going to hop across to the corner and we're going to make three stitches in there to finish that corner off. I'm not going to include that chain space as a stitch. So one, you can if you want. And then I'm going to slip stitch into the first chain we made to finish. And that's how it should look at the end of round three. So for round four, it's just a granny square round. So we're going to start with chain five. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to make three stitches into that corner. US doubles, UK trebles. Oops. After you've made three stitches, hop across to the next chain. Yeah, it is a chain one space, isn't it? So we make three stitches in there. Remember, it's all US doubles, UK trebles this round. Then we hop across to the next chain one space. We make three more stitches. We get some slack. That's two. And three. And then we hop across to the next corner. So we make three stitches. We then chain two, one, two, and make three more stitches into the corner. 
and that's our repeat. So we're going to keep going along, making three stitches, chain two in the corners, and I'll meet you at the end and we can finish off that corner, the first corner together. Yeah. So you can press pause if you're making along. So when we get back to the first corner, we're going to just make three stitches into that corner of round three to finish up. If you want to, you can use that chain as a stitch, but I'm not going to. So that's one, two, oops, and three. And then I'm going to slip stitch into the chain space to finish. And there we go. There's our square. There it is in the moonstone. And there it is in the, what colour is this? This is mushroom from the Stylecraft Special DK range. It's quite nice. So I'll see you in the next video.